Hi guys, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my technique and workflow on how you can get the most out of your DJI log footage to get beautiful colors just using Premiere Pro. And I'm gonna start right now. So just before Christmas, I was lucky enough to go over to Norway, to the fjords, and it was beautiful. And I shot a little bit of drone video over there. Now I shot it all in log. Luckily enough, my DJI Mavic 3 allows me to shoot in log, which is great for keeping a good amount of dynamic range in your videos, as well as color grading in post. But it does require a decent amount of work to get the most out of it. You're gonna have to change a little bit of the exposure and also use a LUT or a lookup table to add a little bit more color to that footage because it is quite flat. So Today, I thought I'd share with you my technique as well as a free LUT to get the most out of your drone footage using Premiere Pro. Right guys, so before we get started, all you'll need to do is firstly open up Premiere Pro and then create a basic timeline. Now, so this video isn't really, really long, I'm just gonna be editing five individual clips and I'll show you those now. So if you jump onto my computer, we've got clip one, uh, which is of the water, clip two of a bridge, uh, clip three is of the frozen river, kind of facing north. Uh, clip four is facing directly down of the same frozen river. And then lastly, we've got clip five of the overall environment. So we've got the village and we've got the water and the kind of mountains in the background. And as you can see, all of them are ungraded. So they're completely log. I haven't done anything to them. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and fix the exposure of each individual clip. So let's go ahead and change this clip first. Now, we want to be using our Lumetri scope and our Lumetri color. Now what you can do is go up to your window and you want to drop down to Lumetri color here, but I've got my effects window open on the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and open up my color here. Now what you want to do when you're opening that, you want to go to your basic color. So you can see you've got your creative, you've got your curves, you've got your vignettes. We're going to go ahead and just open up our basic color first. Now, when color grading, we want to be using our Lumetri scope as well, which is a way of measuring exposure, but also color. So I'm gonna go over to here and I'm gonna choose my Lumetri scopes. Now this is where the colors are falling at the moment, but we want it to be a lot more spread out and have a lot more dynamic range in the color. This is what Log does. It basically flattens all that information to allow you to expand it in post-production. And that's what we're going to be doing. So firstly, let's go ahead and fix the exposure. So we've got our exposure slider here. Let's go ahead and increase that like so. And as you can see, our Lumetri slider moves. So let's go add in about a stop of light there. Then let's go to our contrast and increase the contrast. Now, as you can see, we're starting to spread out that information that you can see in our Lumetri scopes. So I'm gonna bring up those highlights and I'm gonna go ahead and bring down those shadows. Now, what we want to do is you see we've got this uh, 90 symbol here and we've got this 10 symbol here. We want information in those two, but what we don't want to do is to have it clipping at right at the top where you can see 100 and right at the bottom where you can see zero. You can also see on the right-hand side here, you've got zero to 255, how many points are in a video. Zero is black and 255 is pure white. So what you want to do is use these four sliders, highlight shadows, whites and blacks, to bring that information down. So as you can see, we've got information appearing just under 10. And if we bring up the white, we want that to be appearing in our 90 section here. So we've got information right at the top and right at the bottom. But you can also see we've got blue appearing as well. So what you want to do is go to our temperature here and we want to bring a little bit red to match up with that blue there. So what we're gonna do is bring that back and the closer match you get it, the better the overall white balance will be in the photo. So as you can see, we're adding in about 9% temperature there. And you can see this photo has been brought back, but the color is still lacking. So all you need to do is just go to your saturation and let's go ahead and add in a nice amount of saturation here. I think around about 135 in this particular instance works quite nicely. Now, depending on when and where you shot the footage, well, depending on if you can copy and paste what we've just done to another clip. If you've shot it in a very similar situation or the same situation, just at a different time, you might be able to copy and paste, which I'll show you in a second. Otherwise, what you're gonna have to do is do this to every single clip. So as you can see, we've got clip one, which is shot about five minutes beforehand, clip two, then you've got clip three, which shot almost seconds after, you've got clip four and clip five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead right click on that clip, I'm gonna go ahead and choose copy. Then I'm gonna to go to the three clips afterwards, I'm gonna right click on those clips, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click paste attributes. Now inside paste attributes, you want to make sure your Lumetri color is chosen. 
What this will do is it will copy all of the settings that we've just made to that clip two and it will paste it onto clip three, four and five. But do make sure that they are shot in a similar situation. Again, what you're gonna do is you're copying all that information. So if it was a little bit brighter or a little bit darker, this particular effect won't work. It will only work if you shot it in a very similar situation with the same lighting and roughly the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. Now as you'll see, if I drag it over, those colors are working really nicely. So I've got over each one of the clips. Let's see if all of them work. Now the last clip is a little bit too bright. So what we can do is go to our exposure and bring that down. Now you can see by our Lumetri color scope here, you can see we're right in that information. So we really need to bring a lot of that information down. So what I do is probably go to the highlights, impact those, because as you can see, we're just losing that information in the sky there. And then I'll maybe bring down those whites a little bit. And then I would probably bring down those blacks, maybe add in a little bit more contrast and bring down the overall exposure. So we want it to be about here, I think. So we're going for, let's say, a 0.9 plus exposure there. So when we measure it against the previous shot, you can see the exposure is very, very similar. And that's what we want. Now, depending on you, you can bring it back to what it was correct. So that is kind of Rec 709, but I like adding in some what we class as false color. So some color that wasn't necessarily there or was there, but in a very small amount. And we're going to increase that and manipulate it again, just because it's correct doesn't mean it's right. You might want to add a little bit more blue or make it a little bit warmer, cooler, completely up to you. This is completely up to personal preference, basically color grading your footage. So what we can do is I might add in or reverse the temperature here. So I might bring that up, down and I want to add in a little bit more blue again those blues look really nice I think in the background so I think I'm going to add in a minus two there let's go to this shot now it's looking a little bit green I really like that blue so let's again bring back that temperature again I quite like that so again I think I'm going to go for minus two in this shot here look at this shot now I quite like that the teals are nice but again I want to make them a bit more blue so let's go I think minus two for that shot as well uh, let's go to this shot here now again, I like the bridge, I like in the color, but let's make it a little bit more blue. So I think let's go ahead and choose minus two. And you can see how it's impacting the Lumetri scopes. Because we've increased the amount of blue, we've got blue showing above that 90 line here, which is really nice. And then let's go to clip one. Now, oh, as you can see, we haven't color graded this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the clip two, copy. We're gonna go to that video here, right click, and we're gonna go ahead and click paste attributes. And you can see what will happen to the Lumetri scopes. So we've got our Lumetri color here. Let's go ahead and click paste. And as you can see, it's worked really nicely, but it's far too bright. So we do is go to that exposure and bring that down. So again, we want it to look roughly similar to the previous Lumetri scope. And that's where we can see if it's matched quite nicely. And as you can see, it's worked quite well. I might add in a little bit more blue on this one. I think will look quite nice. But overall, that is bringing back the exposure. But now we want to go ahead and color grade it. Now, color grading, you can do manually if you want to, but a lot quicker and a lot easier is using a LUT or a lookup table. Now, Premiere Pro have some free ones available, which some of them are quite good and some of them are absolutely awful. But I've actually got one specifically for drone footage, which you can go ahead and download in the link in the description. So what we do is to input, import them. So once you've downloaded it, what we're gonna do is go off our basic correction. We're gonna go ahead and select creative. Now creative is where you can add in LUTs and you've got this little table here with your intensity and you've got some slight changes that you can make to tint, balance, highlights and shadows. So what we can do is go to our look, we're gonna go ahead and click on that none. And you can see you've got a bunch of free ones available. But if you go ahead and click browse, go to where you've saved it. So I'll go to my desktop and I've got my DGI to D log footage. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And as you see, we've now applied that to that layer. Now this is far too strong. So what we can do is go to our intensity and what we're gonna do is bring that down. Now I find for most shots around 35% intensity works quite nicely. And as you can see, we've now color graded this footage. And I really, really like this effect. But the problem we've got is only applied to one. So almost when we want to apply it to all of them, do we have to do it individually? Well, yes and no, you can do it individually. But what I recommend using is adjustment layers. Adjustment layers are your friend in Premiere Pro. They're really handy for applying multiple effects across multiple clips. So let's undo what we've just done. So let's go to that look and let's go ahead and just click none. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our adjustment layers icon. So that's this little symbol down in the bottom left-hand corner, click new item. And we're gonna go ahead and choose adjustment layer. 
Now we want to choose our settings. So it comes up with our basic settings. These are the ones we want to go with. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this, I'm gonna rename, and I'm gonna rename it Color Grading. I'm also going to, I like using tags. I recommend using tags in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna right click on that. I'm gonna to go to Label and I'm gonna go ahead and use yellow. Now yellow is, for me, color grading. So if I ever work on a file, I know what layer is what, just by the simple color tags. You don't have to use yellow or even use this particular thing, I just find it easy in Premiere Pro. And what you want to do is to drag and drop that over all of our files. So as you can see, it's five seconds, so I'm gonna drag it all the way to the end clip. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the lookup table or LUT to that adjustment layer. So it will affect all clips, simultaneously. So what I'm gonna do, make sure I got that, go to our creative look, go to browse, and then we're gonna go ahead and use my DJI log. I'm gonna click open. And then we'll see, it will apply it, but it will apply it to every single clip. Now, like I was saying, it's far too strong. So I'm gonna go to my intensity slider, I'm gonna bring that back down to around about 35%. You can also fill around with sharpen, vibrant, saturation, basically all, but in my, most cases, I find the LUT, because I've already done that to that LUT, I don't need to add more adjustments to it. But as you can see, it's worked really, really nicely across all of the clips. And because we've used an adjustment layer, you can drag that and drop that. So if you've got a two minute or a two hour timeline, that single adjustment layer will apply that color grading effect to all of the clips. What I would recommend is making sure you've color adjusted each one of the clips beforehand. Otherwise, sometimes the LUT doesn't apply evenly. Now that's step three. Step four is applying a letterbox effect. So let's go ahead and apply that. So firstly, what we want to do is go to our adjustment layers icon or new item. I'm gonna go ahead and choose adjustment layer. Now this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and call this one crop. Now I'm gonna name this one or name it crop, right click and I'm gonna again change the label. I'm gonna change it to brown because I use it, I use the color brown. Again, you can choose any color of your choice. And again, drag that over the entire timeline. Now a letterbox effect is those black lines that you see at the top and bottom, creating more of a cinema look. It's completely optional, but I like doing it to my drone footage or most of my videos in general. So all you need to do is to make that adjustment layer, go to your effects and just type in the word crop. And all you need to do is double click. Now, obviously we've got our electronic scopes open. We don't want that. So we're gonna go to our effects control and you can see we've got our crops here. Now we want a crop at the top and bottom. So we've got the top here, we're gonna add in 5% and then the bottom here, we're gonna go ahead and add in 5%. And as you can see, we've now cropped that uh, information on the bottom and on the top. And I think it looks really good. Brilliant, and there we go, guys. So that all you need to do now is just render that footage. And as you can see, you've gone from basic log profile footage on your drone to beautiful color grading. And make sure to go to the link in the description for that free LUT. What I'll do is I'll just quickly show you a preview of the video we've just made. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So that is how you can color grade your drone footage to get the most out of it in Premiere Pro. And make sure to go to the link in the description to go ahead and download my free LUT. I use it pretty much all of the time, especially for winter when any of my drone stuff, it adds in those nice teals and blues and oranges to really make your videos stand out. So if you are interested, make sure to go to the link in the description. It is completely free. I've been James for Video Fever, and I'll catch you guys next time.